A week before the tournament, we came out for a day's practice, trying to find the pattern in the dam. And let's face it, what makes bass fishing so challenging and gets you to keep coming back every time is to try and find that ever-changing patterns. Before any tournament, most anglers will spend the time on the dam to try and find what works, which spots are delivering and where the fish are moving. Even though the weather started off great in the morning, it became quite cold after a few days good weather. And this definitely affected the fish. again uh, last time out only you caught a fish but we've had some hot weather for the last couple of days so we're hoping that maybe they come on plus I got a I bought my secret baits today big bite squirrel that. tail I saw that um, I think that spot that you caught that fish could, uh, could, could do some it. damage um. yeah we must give it a shot today and please, you know, meet a bit of opposition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's but go yeah. watch the uh, the Ananda clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I'm talking, yeah. Uh, okay. Not your back, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, look, the, the weather has changed. Today's a bit colder again. So the, the interesting part is finding the fish and seeing where they are. There's three other boats here. And oh, there's a massive fire. Which I suspect are all in the river. Yeah, this morning. Yeah, um, we yeah. might have a quick. I think we'll start at our secret spot. There. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, you want to go to the river? No, no. We can definitely start there. Okay. Take some big fat fish off there. Because I've got two two baits that I'm going to use there. Mm -hmm. The other one I haven't mentioned online or anywhere. We'll see if it works when I get there. Yeah, I've got a different idea. You know, I, sometimes I do think bigger baits catch bigger fish. So if I struggle today, I'm going to hook you. Okay. <laughs> 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 but yeah, you know, I'm excited. Uh, we all know what can happen this time of the year in this dam. Yeah. So we'll I'm see. glad we decided to come because at four o'clock this morning it was blowing a gale on the coast. Yeah, it was. And so. uh, we nearly cancelled, but looks like it's going to be a lovely day, aren't you? Yeah, that's weird. There's a big fire. There's a big fire. There's a massive fire. What's happening? We're on fire already. No, I think, the, I think the locals are getting cold. Maybe. No, but it's big fires. It's like, yeah. No, they're very cold. Okay, let's get going. Guys, thanks for joining us. And I'm going to ask you this time in the beginning of the video, please like the videos. It helps us. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button if you want to be notified every time we upload a video. Thanks for following us and we hope we share some interesting stuff. You're welcome to make suggestions and ask questions and we'll try our best to answer them. Um, don't ask uh, questions above our intelligence, that, uh, that's difficult, but we'll try our best. Thanks for watching. A week ago when we were here, we struggled a bit and only got a few bites, but full of enthusiasm, hoping to find the fish and where they're feeding. Hey guys, I'm rigging. A I want to try this today because I believe this uh, might give us a shot at something uh, decent and it's the Dawa Nikos, the fat Eco Fat by Gary Yamamoto and I've just wacky rigged it it's basically the idea is that and then what I do I plug it so I push a sinker in the front so it will sit on the bottom like this 
with your hook coming out here in your line so when you pull it it will it's basically going to jump like that and uh, I want to see if that on this particular area where we're fishing now we're fishing a point I'll show you guys on the map here uh, we're fishing this point this is main trees the island goes out it forms a very very nice we we went with a fish finder over here and it gets you fiskwish it gets you so excited when you see what happens there's a sheer drop on the one side and it forms that exact point such an awesome spot if there was a bit of salt in this water we caught, would have caught kuta there as well okay and tuna and uh ambers it's maybe not deep enough for the ambers but the bass will sit around that point and they will wait for anything that come past there regardless I'm a bit disappointed in our water temperature um, that's a whole degree lower than last week when we were on this point but we're still going to give it a go and maybe just slow down what we do a bit fish it a bit slower and then wacky rig I'm quickly going to hook it for those of you who don't know uh, how the wacky is rigged I'll quickly show you okay so the weight's in the bait so it's weightless I'm using just my weightless rod quickly Plastic there, doop, doop, doop. It's gonna sit in the water here with the hook facing up, and that's it. And we're gonna put this uh, there. We Rob missed that big fish last week. I'm gonna put it right there, I'll just show him what, what size that fish was that he missed. I can't believe he missed that fish. Now you you look such a big fish with uh, your boat partner's bait he gave you that you can at least have the decency of landing it and putting it on the boat but that's Rob it's not called Rob Fisher for nothing and in answer to that it was because I was uh, fast asleep and uh, we'll see how we go today and he's I take a shot, he's giving me a ring piece. I'm going to publish that. I must get my GoPro on so that I can catch moments like that and extort money from him. And the shaky head is out and uh, the wind is blowing but we've got uh, Lorenz uh, go spot lock and that is such a huge win. Oh my God. It's the one thing on the boat that I just cannot do without. Everything else, apart from my rods and reels, I need the spot clock. It's fantastic. But we'll see how the day goes. It's early, it's still early. After trying a few spots and a few baits, the bites were few and far between. We missed two or three fish, but no fireworks anywhere. So we kept on moving from spot to spot, trying different techniques and different baits. Right, we're gonna go for it now. Uh, and the only other boat on the whole dam is coming back here. We should tell him it's not going to help diddly squat. Wild way in the back. Go far back until your boat's done. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go all the way into the river until there's no way, no way to manoeuvre. Panic and then work your way out. And uh, uh, he's, see, he's going to fish those cliffs. Not yet. Not yet. No, he's still full tilt. Oh, he's following the river. He doesn't want to run aground, that's what he's doing. He hasn't got uh, John Easton's maps. We've got John Easton's maps, so I know where to drive and where not to drive. But I really would like the full set. Maybe one day. Chano! <laughs> there he is coming here. When 
you're not having bites, the way to get happy again is fire up the Suzuki and zoot across the dam. That makes me happy. So the Suzuki's made me happy. The Lorenz Ghost has made me happy. Now we need to, uh, to catch a fish and that'll make me very happy. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not going to happen. After Rob got his first fish, there was a bit of hope again on the boat. Maybe the fish starts biting a bit later. The weather still being unpleasant needed quite a few bites to keep us on the water. Jig a leg a leg, flying squirrel. It only took us three days and 50,000 hours to catch this oak. Not the biggest fish, but so nice to smell of bass. Let's give him a kiss. Yeah. Spotlock Rob always refers to as an open water anchor, which allows you to keep the boat stationary wherever you find a good spot or see a nice underwater point or structure you would like to fish. Really a fantastic feature, and Lorenz has fine tuned it to the T. days like this it's where all your equipment comes together your fish finder your maps using your trawling motor to the best of its ability and then pulling out all those baits and techniques you can think of to try and entice a bite at midday we lost hope and packed up the few bites we got or no bites we got didn't make the weather worth it so we called it the day The following morning I was back at it, joining John Minnie from Lorenz and Dan, a provincial angler from Peter Maritzburg. Today we'll try some different spots they know to see if we can find the pattern. There were a lot more boats today and the weather being slightly better than yesterday, we were quite positive that things will change. started off the day at a spot where Dan and his son got some really nice fish a few days ago, trying both plastics and jerk baits. Alright, we were here on Alberts yesterday, it was dismal with the weather and uh, no bites really. So I'm back with John from Lorraine's and uh, Today the weather's changed a bit, it's a warmer day and uh, we've got uh, a totally different direction wind and it's picking up badly later today. So, trying this area on the northeastern side of the dam and uh, starting with Mojo Rig and Plastic and we've got Dan, a local here from Peter Marisburg, as a guest today. And uh, he's promised to show us the ropes today. <laughs> Dan 
caught the first fish just off main trees. Not a big fish, but at least the scorecard's open. After trying three or four spots, we moved to the riverside and starting our way into the river. Okay, finally guys, close to one o'clock as it's been going, we start getting a bite except for Dan who showed us this morning. And the water looked a bit bigger until I picked it up now. But uh, it's a fish. It broke the... They're busy in the reeds nesting. They're making a... In any case. From his mother's, uh, yeah, he was busy drinking. <laughs> Look how cute that is, eh? Hey? Mila would have loved this. John's boat's rigged with a power pole and a very convenient way of anchoring in shallow water, keeping the boat 100% sturdy regardless of the direction of the wind. This allows you to point the nose of the boat into the direction you're fishing. Another dismal day. We did manage to get four smaller fish, but other than that, nothing to report, which makes the competition coming even more interesting. John Minnie was here for the weekend after and was pre-fishing another two days and ended up finding the pattern that worked. At a section closer to the dam wall, he managed to get himself a nice 3.71 and several other fish in the region of two kilos plus. John wasn't gonna fish the Joey's tournament though, but had the pattern that would have helped him as most of the fish was caught on these exact spots in the Joey's tournament that followed. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel, that really helps. Also like the video and hit the bell notification button if you wanna be notified every time we upload a video.